The time has finally come for the showdown between the pre-refined and the new, the post-refined Parker Flies. We're going to settle this debate once and for all. Are the newer Parker Flies trash? And are the original ones? Can Parker's gift to mankind greater than sliced bread? I don't know. We are going to find out. What's going on everybody? Eric Barassa here and I am here to finally put to rest uh, the, the debate of whether the new Parker Flies are any good or not. Because if you read the online forums or check out my most popular video of all time, you will find out very quickly that people have very strong opinions about this. And you would think that these newer post, I think 2003, 2003 and later Parker Fly guitars are just the worst pieces of garbage ever made. Well, I made the argument several years ago in my most divisive video ever um, that the newer ones I thought were actually superior to the pre-refined Parker Flies. But I had already sold my 2014 Lime Gold Parker Fly. So I only had one. And that was just because uh, I, I really love that guitar, but I just decided I didn't need two Parker Flies. Silly goose, of course I needed two Parker Flies. Well, finally, one came on the market. Uh, a 2014 Lime Gold Parker Fly, not the one I originally had. Um, but if you do have that one, let me know. I'm interested. Uh, one, one of the cool things about this one was that it has some dings on it. So that knocked off uh, a good like $1,500 right away. And then the next cool thing that happened, uh, actually not cool, I was actually really disappointed about this, but it arrived slightly damaged from UPS. And so uh, the kind people at Reverb were nice enough to knock off an additional $1,500. 2014 Parker Fly gender reveal. It's a lime gold. Well, it arrived in tune. Check this out. That's, that's pretty cool that it's in tune. So this was in the pictures, but this was not. So I got this, this Parker Fly for, uh, compared to most Parker Flies, especially in this color, fairly inexpensive. Uh, and, and I'm so excited because I want to just put it down on tape what these guitars actually sound like side by side. So here we go. Let's take a listen. Thank you. 
so I don't know about you, but for me, there's one thing. Uh, number one, with in terms of the feel of this 2014 Parker Fly, uh, the neck is a little bit thicker. It's a little bit beefier, and the tonal qualities of it are... Um, it's it's got more of a Gibson Les Paul kind of feel. It's a little bit darker, a little bit fuller sounding than my '95 Parker Fly. So that's not really necessarily better or worse. It's just different. I like them equally for for different reasons. But there's definitely definitely not a difference in quality in terms of the tones that you are able to get with both of these guitars. But it's cool because I can use them for two different kinds of sounds that I, I want to get. Now, real quick, I do need to give a disclaimer. In my original Parker Fly in the 95, um, I have upgraded the pickups. The original DiMarzios are, are renowned for just not being great in that guitar, just too bright and too tinny. So I did replace them uh, many years ago with Seymour Duncan, JB, and Jazz pickups. Sounds a lot fuller and a lot better. Now, if I had left the original pickups in that 95 Parker Fly, the 2014 wins hands down. I'm not kidding, it's that big of a difference. Okay, so let's talk about uh, the other aspects, the pros and cons of each of these guitars, uh, because they, they each have them. So the tuning pegs, um, I think, are great in both. I think the headstock on the newer ones is better. You can actually hang it up on a uh, traditional guitar hanger, and I just think it looks better. It's a it's a better looking design. So yeah, looking at the headstocks side by side, um, I, I think the newer design is just way hipper. That, that's a it's a cool look. So that's definitely a preference thing, but but I like it. Both have stainless steel frets. Uh, I never had any issue with my original 2014 Parker Fly. Um, I've heard people say the stainless steel frets fall off or whatever. I'll keep you posted about that, but I haven't had that issue um, with this. And then in terms of the knobs, I prefer the three knobs to the four, right? The 95. This guy's got four knobs down here, um, and they're and they're thin. I don't like the way the knobs look, and uh, I think there's too many of them. So... I'm a big fan aesthetically of just simplicity. I like the look of the three knobs. Talk about the piezos real quick. You have the um, ghost piezo system or whatever, so it automatically detects if you have a Y cable or not. Versus on the older model, you have to um, you have to push push in the button, flip and and tell it whether you've got the the Y cable to turn it on and off, and it like automatically does it in this one. Something like that. I don't know. I haven't played with it. Now, I did it back in the day. I don't use it as much now, so not really a big deal. Um, they, the, oh, oh, the push-pull pot. Dude, I now have six tonal options. I have now tw twice as many uh, tonal options. Instead of three different pickup selections, I've got six in this guy just by pulling out that middle tone pot. Um, and then also the, the, uh, the wheel for adjusting the tension on the old one. I never liked this design. Uh, this, it, it's a little easier for adjusting the tension in the um, in the spring, but the thing is, uh, it's you, once you set it, you're, you kind of forget it. And so, you only have to do it once. So on this guitar, on the 2014, you can barely even see it, but you just stick a little Allen wrench in there and uh, you tighten it or loosen it. So it's much more discreet. It's just a better, Aesthetically, it's just a better design overall as as a guitar. So they just made they just took what was great about the original Parker Fly and improved it, in my opinion. Now, here is the only drawback to the newer Parker Flies. And yes, I'm saying this is the only thing. And they cheaped out on the whammy bar. Okay, so in the original one, it's stainless steel. On the new one, it's like some light metal. It just it feels light in your hands. I like the original one. It feels heavy. Um, and in a good way. And then also, this thing breaks, man. The thing that holds the whammy bar, because they used a cheap plastic here. And on my original 2014, it broke off. And I had to contact Parker when they were still in business. And they sent me a new one for free. Uh, and then in this one, it actually came broken off. But the guy sent a replacement for it. So I got to put that in. I have to have it installed. Um, but that's, that's really the only drawback to me. Okay, real quick. There's one other downside to the newer Parker fly. That's in, uh, there's no battery indicator light 
for when your nine volt battery is going dead. In my 95 Parker Fly, once you get to less than five hours of battery life, it uh, a little indicator light comes on and I really wish they would have kept that. So that's the other drawback about the newer Parkers. And then hopefully you heard in the, the sound demos, um, man, they just, th this guitar, like I said, is a little bit darker sounding. Uh, but not in a bad way, just in a different way. It's just a different sounding guitar. And then it's, in terms of the piezos, um, the, that's, the 95 is just a brighter sounding guitar. And so uh, it's got a brighter, um, it's got a, a little bit more brightness in the piezos. But, but both, you know, are made by Fishman and uh and sound fantastic okay hey so i just noticed something uh that's a total bummer in the 2014 fly the two of the piezo pickups do not function at the correct volume check this out you can hear strings five and four are way quieter six is loud Three is loud, two and one, loud, listen to five and four. They're a lot quieter. And then in terms of weight, um, they're, they're really about the same. They're both very light and very thin. So there it is. Go ahead, light me up in the comments section uh, if, if you want, but I stand by it. It's I, I almost started to doubt myself after all these years because I got so many scathing comments on my original video uh, that I'm like, man, maybe the new ones aren't better. And I was just like, uh, I was just, you know, it was that honeymoon phase of having the, the, the newer one. And then I got rid of it and I missed it. And maybe that's what it was. But no, I can definitively say getting another one. Yep, it's exactly how I remembered it. Uh, a little bit darker, thicker, fatter, more of a Les Paul kind of a sound, uh, a slightly thicker neck. Bam, there it is, the Parker Fly. Plus these newer ones are a little less expensive. I mean, not in this color. If you find one in this color, it's gonna be a lot of money. That's it, I'm Eric. Again, light me up in the comments, like and subscribe uh, for, for more Parker guitar content. I'll be recording some more stuff with these guitars and I'll see you guys in the next times.